In this video, you will learn how to run an optimization project by using meta models in Mode Frontier. So we call it meta model based optimization or we abbreviate it by MBO. This exercise is by, based on a previous exercise we have done in the single objective optimization video. To refresh your mind, the exercise was about solving a single objective optimization problem using quasi Newton BFGS algorithm. So in this video, we first generate a meta model based on DOEs. We use the Krieging RSM. Then we run the optimization by using MOSA algorithm without meta models by using the actual calculator in the project. After that, we run the optimization with the same algorithm, MOSA algorithm, on the meta model which we have created at the beginning. Then we can compare the results and see how the optimal solutions are compared together with meta model and without meta model. I open the single objective optimization project file, which we can see here the solver is a the calculator. Then in the design space, I cleared or I deleted the design table. Now I delete the DOE table too. I will keep the BFGS table, which we created from the results of BFGS. I'll go to workflow, the scheduler. I will create a new DOE table by using Latin Hypercube and with 10 DOEs. And I will just run uh, the project based on DOE sequence and without running any optimization. So I saved the new file as meta model based uh, optimization MBO project file. Make sure to do that before running uh, any optimization. So I'll wait for the results. Now the run is finished. I go to the design space. I have my design table, which is only based on the DOE sequence. I have the inputs and the outputs. Now I will create my RSM. First, I need to train my RSM. I use the same table from the results of the DOE sequence with 10 design points. Here you see the table here, 10 design points. I keep the numbers the same. The 20% tells me that the 20% the of the design points will be used for validation. Here I have to create my meta model. Let's search for Krieging anisotropic rigging and select that as our meta modeling method we'll use all design points for training our meta model and here we have our rsm created if we go to the explorer we have two tables one for the training set and the other one for the validation set as you can see the validation set has only two points because we use 20 percent of the 10 design points as validation we can evaluate our meta model by using a chart which is called uh, explorer 3d chart we can find it in the rsm category we will select our meta model our inputs will be selected as X and Y axis. And here we will get a set of charts that are very useful in evaluating our meta model. And here in this plot, you can see the your actual response surface, which is a 3D surface. Now we need to run our optimization project by using the actual calculator and the MOSA algorithm. So we have to change the settings here. We run the DOE sequence. Now we have to find the MOSA algorithm, change it to manual, and let's run it for 100 generations. So let's run the project and see the results. Now MOSA Frontier is finished running the optimization. And we have our results from running MOSA on the design table. So we need to export the designs 
from design table to a new table. So we select all designs on the design table, control A, and create a table. And let us name the table Mosa with RSM. That means this table is the results from running Mosa algorithm without meta model. So in order to evaluate the optimal solution, we will create a history chart on the objective value. And we can select our Pareto optimal design by right clicking and selecting that. And we can see here by zooming in and right clicking on the actual ID, we will get that values for optimal solution. And if you look at that, we'll see that that is around 11.06. What we need to do now instead run the same project based on the meta model. If you look at the explorer here, under the function tab, you will see your RSM function. Now we go to our workflow, double click on the schedule, on the RSM options, we have our RSM function and we move this scale to 100%. This means that all our function evaluations will be based on the meta model. So none of the function evaluations will be based on the actual calculator. Let's run the project, extract the results, and compare the optimal solution from meta model based optimization to the actual optimization by MOSA algorithm. Most Frontier is now finished running your project. We go to the design space. Our, our results from MOSA based on meta model is in this design table. We extract these solutions to a new table to be able to compare the results with other runs. Let's name this table MOSA with RSM 100. That means 100% of solutions were evaluated on our meta model. So again, we create our history chart on the objective values based on this new table. If you go to charts, history, let's select our objective value. And here we have the history chart. If I select the Pareto design, right click Pareto design and on the real, We'll see that no solution is selected. The reason is that we run the optimization 100% on meta model, and meta model is a virtual model. So instead, if we select Pareto designs real and virtual, we will see that the optimal solution is marked now. We zoom in, right click, and let's see the actual value. So the objective value here is 8.5. If we compare this to the other run, which was on running the actual calculator the value for that was 11.06 so there is a difference between these two runs which means our meta model based optimization was not able to find the true optimal value by arranging the charts and tables we can see a better view of all our results and we can compare the two charts easily now we need to improve our the performance of our meta model. We go to our scheduling on the RSM options and we move the bar to 50%. That means that 50% of the function evaluations will be on the meta model and the other 50% will be on the actual calculator. This will hopefully give us a better result on running meta model based optimization. Run is completed and I extracted the results from running 50% RSM on a new table and I named it MOSA with RSM 50. And let us create a history chart on the objective value. I'll select the objective value and if we fully screen this chart, right click, select the Pareto designs, virtual and real, the optimal solution. Will be marked, we'll zoom in, 
and we'll see the actual ob objective value. So the objective value with 50% run is 11.056. If you remember, the optimal value, the true optimal value was 11.059. While running optimization with 100% using meta model gave us an objective value of 8.5. This means that changing the percentage to 50 improved our optimal solution by running meta model based optimization to very near the true optimal value. In this video you learned how to create a meta model, run a meta model based optimization project, change the frequency of function evaluations based on meta model, and compare the results by using post-processing tools in Mode Frontier.